The Jazz are back home tonight for game three of the playoffs and businesses are hoping for an alley-oop. Yeah, new specialist Morgan Wolf talked to some excited downtown businesses. They're seeing dollar signs and a camera, but mainly dollar signs, Morgan. <laughs> Well, this time last year, the Jazz went to full capacity for the first time since 2020 before the pandemic began. Bars and restaurant owners I spoke to say that they are very excited to feel a playoff push once again. While fans are expected to bring the noise at Vivint, bars and restaurants downtown are expecting them to bring them business, too. I'm a mass fan. I'm from Dallas, so... <laughs> I am rooting for the enemy this evening. <laughs> Jordan Newsom might be a little confused on which team to support, but he does support all small businesses because he works with restaurants. Well, businesses, especially ones that are close to sporting venues, they rely on their sales. I mean, Jazz Games brings people downtown, obviously, um, from all over the state. Restaurants and bars say that they see around a 15 to 30 percent increase in sales during Jazz home playoff games. Whiskey Street head chef says that it's even better to have the game on a Thursday versus a Friday or Saturday when they're already busy. We see that push, we see the late night after game push, and we see people coming in just to watch the game. So it really helps us. Absolutely. Whatever, you know, helps restaurants and bars survive and, you know, thrive is always good. I do want to caution people that if you are heading downtown, try to make a reservation if you can, or just be prepared to possibly be waiting in some lines. In Salt Lake City, Morgan Wolf, KSL 5 News.